so how does that work? Can you walk us through the process? Like, what does that look like when someone um, when someone sees an, sees an ad, and then how do you get that person to turn into an actual loyal follower of your music? That's a good question. Uh, right now, so many people are utilizing their social media platforms pretty actively. Um, so, you know, there's four different ways that you can really grow on Spotify. Um, one is like editorial placement, which can be like super competitive. You know, there's 40,000 new songs that are released on Spotify on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so like trying to submit can be a little bit of a black hole or feel like one. Mm -hmm. um, and even with editorial placement, you can really increase streams, but not necessarily get the fan that sticks. Um, there's also the approach for like independent playlists. It's the same thing if you're uh, paying for, uh, if you're paying for placement or receiving like a free placement, um, that can increase your streams, but not necessarily increase your, your follower count. Um, or like if your song goes viral on like TikTok, like people are definitely gonna be able to find and listen to your music. Um, but the one thing that really, really works for artists that's a little bit more sustainable um, and a little less competitive is algorithmic placement. Um, so by running advertising campaigns that drive to your Spotify profile, um, you're really increasing the probability of some of those uh, algorithmic placements like Discover Weekly or Release Radar. Um, it's really important to be able to uh, get, you know, that uh, fan and stream. Uh, Spotify is looking at both when it's thinking about uh, the probability of placement on those dis uh, Discover Weeklies and Release, release Radars. Yeah, because I know a lot of artists right now are, you know, we're all looking at how do we get on playlists and it's important to note i think that playlists aren't all made the same on spotify and it's important to note that there are different kinds of playlists so you're specifically talking so editorial playlists are the ones that are curated is that right by Correct, spotify? Yeah. primarily by like spotify employees um so editorial placement you know you can submit for that um but it it's also you know, you're, you're competing against so many other artists that are also submitting to those editorial playlists, um, which is where I think people start looking at the independent playlists, which uh, are again, like still it's competitive, but um, it's a little bit more challenging uh, to know how reputable they are, um, to do your research, um, submissions may be a little bit easier, or if it's free, you know, you're going to get, uh, you don't have to spend a ton of money to get playlisted, but mm -hmm. it's, um, it's not as predictable, I guess, in that you're not guaranteeing, and no, no one's really guaranteeing a fan and a stream, but you're more likely to garner a fan and a stream if you're driving direct to the artist profile and like getting your music in front of a more qualified audience. So like being able mm -hmm. to target someone that you know could potentially be a fan of your artistry 